Welcome back to the Digital Learning Lab, and it is January, so Northern Hemisphere Schools, we are in the thick of it. We are halfway through the school year and starting to feel the drain. I have something for you. It's a tech tool, a tip, if you will, uh, that's going to save you a huge amount of time, especially when you're starting to grade papers and also provide your students with an opportunity to level up their writing and it will take none of your time. So let's just get into it. All right, so it has been a minute since we've done an episode here on the Digital Learning Lab. I'm gonna try to keep this quick and let's set a timer for uh, five minutes. Ready, go. All right, so this tool comes from the people at School AI. This is not a sponsored video. I just love their stuff. Although, I mean, I wouldn't say no if you wanted to sponsor my videos. Anyways, so here we are in School AI. If you haven't made an account, make an account. It's free for teachers. We're jumping into the Assistance tab and going to the Essay Grading Assistant. This has been here. This is not necessarily a new thing, but there is something new just around the corner. Okay, so click on this, and what you'll find, hopefully, is the Try the New Essay Grader. It's in beta right now, which means it may not necessarily be available to all people, but definitely will be rolling out everywhere very soon. We're gonna click Try Now. Boom, I've already made a session. So here we are, what you can do is just click on New Session, give it a title, Upload your rubric. You can either type that in or you can click File Upload and upload it from your own computer. Word count, if that's something that you're into, give it a due date and then hit Create Session. Where I have already made a session, I'm just gonna jump into that one to save us some time. So here we go. Once you get to this session, you'll see your rubric on the side. You can view that full screen. This is a PDF of a Word document that I made. And then these are all of the submissions that I downloaded from Canvas. Puts it in a nice little zip file, drag them over, and bada boom. It grades them all, so it'll show complete or incomplete. You can choose to sort them, which I like to do by score because it gives me a breakdown of where my class is. A little formative assessment data, if you will. So I can see really quickly that about half of my class is doing okay and half of my class needs some help. All right, so what I would do then is let's check out an essay, see what kind of details it gives. Breaks down each section of the rubric and gives a suggested score. I do want to say this is definitely a suggested score. Some things might change. AI is still experimental, so definitely, definitely go over your results individually to make sure that it's what you like. But still, even doing that's gonna save you a monumental amount of time. All right, so here we go. I'm looking at this paper. It looks like it's doing well in most sections, but could use a little bit of help on the back end, which on a preliminary essay totally makes sense. You do good, lose some steam, and then gotta iron out some, some wrinkles. Okay. So, but what about the student side? So this saves a teacher a huge amount of time, just gives you a really quick, fast, and reliably accurate snapshot of where your students are. But I also said this is a tool for your students to perfect their own writing. So let's jump into that. If you look at the top, there's a student AI feedback link. Click on that. This will open a little dialog box and give you a unique URL to your essay rubric in a student feedback center. So we'll copy this, open up a new tab, paste that in there and hit go. All right, now that we're here, here's what the student sees. They'll see the rubric just like you had. You can do that in full screen if you'd like. And then in the middle is where they're going to paste their essay. And then on the right panel is where they get all their feedback. I want to make this very clear. This is not a generative AI tool. This is not going to be something that your students will be able to say, fix this part of my essay, or give me suggestions on how I could make this longer, or write five paragraphs on XYZ topic. This is simply going to evaluate their essay and score their essay with some limited suggestions on what they could improve. Let's see what this looks like in real life. 
Okay, so I have gone ahead and I have already copied and we're going to paste an SA here for this little window. Student pastes their SA, comes over to the top, hits grade. All right, and that came back actually pretty quick. So it shows me again, top half of the essay is okay. Bottom half of the essay needs some serious work. So this is looking at right now, if they turned it in, not a great grade. But what they can do is for their different parts, they can now use this as a text document that they can edit. But it's important, again, it's not AI editing the document, it's the students editing the document based on feedback. Okay. So let's give a hypothesis, here we go. Okay, just something off the top of my head. I'm gonna hit regrade, pretend I'm the student. That's my hypothesis, spelled something wrong. That's totally fine too. It's gonna regrade this now and give the students some feedback on how they did. Here we go, introduction is engaging, states the research question and hypothesis, but lacks detailed background information. Okay, so you can see how this isn't taking your student's writing and roboting it to make it something that it wasn't before. It's the students using their brains, their experience, their skills to make their writing better but just giving them real-time feedback on what they're doing. So definitely consider using School AI to try this out. Um, if you liked the video, let me know by clicking that little button. If you wanna have more videos like this, consider subscribing. And I'm interested to know in the comments, what do you love about School AI and how have you used it in your classroom? All right, that is it for the Digital Learning Lab. We will see you. I can't see Next time. End, but we'll see it through.